welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Hi, my name is James David. I'm a Verification IP Applications Engineer at Cadence. Today, I will discuss about error injections and why it's important and how easy you can do this with our Cadence VIPs. Error injection is an integral part of functional verification. It is used to test the robustness of the DUT and assess how well it can tolerate or recover from error from illegal transactions. Now, by default, the, the transactions in the Cadence VIPs are generated without errors. This allows you to test if your DUT adheres to the protocol specifications. However, you also want to test if your DUT can react to illegal transactions. That is why the Cadence VIPs also have error injection capabilities. So there are two ways that you can, you can do error injections, using predefined error injections or using callbacks. But before I go into further details, let me give you an overview of how the VIP goes through uh, before it gets out and sent as a transaction. So your transaction has fields in it. And when you, when you generate your transaction, the relevant fields gets their values. All of these are according to the specifications. Now it goes through the different stages of the VIP. And it, as it gets to the different queues, the relevant fields also get updated. And then it gets transferred. So with, with using predefined error injections, which you can, you can find at this uh, path, dollar Denali DDV API SV Denali, the specific protocol that you're using, types that SVH. Within that file, you can find the error injection type, and you can see the, the enumerated list of error injections or EIs. To use these predefined EIs, the transaction itself has an error injection array that, that is a field. So when you generate that transaction, for example, with UVM do with, and then what you can do is constrain your error injection array to that specific EI that you want to do. So with, with the error injection, added into the error injection array, your VIP will know what kind of error injection that it will do. And then it will, by itself, know which of the relevant fields it will modify so that an error injection will occur. However, if, you're, if you want to be uh, more specific or if you want to have more control in the kind of error injection that you want, then you can use callbacks. Again, looking at our diagram here, the transaction goes through the queues. And at certain, at each points of the queue, uh, entering the queue, exiting the queue, we have callbacks. So let's say the transaction flows here. And then at this point, you want to use the callback. By, by using the callback function, you get the transaction. Once you get the transaction inside it, you can modify whatever field there is in the transaction and put your illegal value. So you've gotten the, the transaction, modified the field to an illegal value. Now you can, you can put back the transaction using a transset, transset function. With this transit function, you put back that transaction containing the illegal value, which will then be transferred by the VIP. Thus, it injects the error that you want. So these are the two ways that you can do error injection, simple ways, with our Cadence VIP. Thank you for watching, and see you again next week.